What's going on everybody? We're gonna do some very simple math in a second, but first we're gonna talk about two false predictions that a lot of these bureaucrats have been making that they tell us are experts and that have to be believed no matter what. The first one comes from World Health Organization. It comes on February 4th, 2020. They said, we reiterate our call to all countries not to impose restrictions that unnecessarily interfere with international travel and trade. Such restrictions can have the effect of increasing fear and stigma with little public health benefit. Dr. Tedros, the current leader of the World Health Organization. So as Trump is shutting down travel to China, they're saying, you're causing fear and stigma, don't do it. A lot of these people who oppose Trump say he didn't do enough for doing the same exact type of virtue signaling back then. It's racist, you're stigmatizing. So this is what they were saying a little over a month ago, the World Health Organization. And the second thing, they said preliminary investigations conducted by the Chinese authorities have found no clear evidence of human to human transmission of the novel coronavirus. So they were telling people just a few months ago that you can't get coronavirus from human to human. Now, of course, the narrative is completely different in just two months. So when they tell you the science is settled and you have to believe the experts, you also have to use your brain, use critical thinking skills, and realize that a lot of these bureaucrats and governmental organizations are not flawless and they're learning just like we are in a lot of ways. And on that note, I'm gonna do three different types of math that are very simple, but they don't wanna tell you because I guess they just don't wanna. I don't know, I could figure it out and I'm not really good at math at all. First one is, no tests equals no confirmed cases. Very simple, in January and February, we had no confirmed cases. So obviously it's going up, but you know, we didn't have tests, can't have confirmed cases. Very simple, let's move on. Second one is more tests equals more confirmed cases. So as we give out more and more tests, going from not testing at all to testing more to testing more every day, the amount of confirmed cases is obviously going to go up in our country. Let's. Look at, we got amount of tests available and used, and then right here we have number of confirmed cases. You could say it's a straight line. The more tests available, the more confirmed cases we're going to have. And of course, they don't like to put that into their equations or tell you that. Morning Joe, whoa, we're, we're leading the world, oh my goodness. But we're also testing a lot more than a lot of other people, and we have a higher population in some cases, not in China, but other countries as well. And this is the, and I'm not saying just for the record, and we're going to go on, I'm not saying this isn't a bad virus. I'm not saying this isn't terrible. I'm not saying it's not spreading quickly. It's all horrible. But math is math, and they like to do a lot of math. They like to make a lot of false predictions and false statements, and then tell you that their math is flawless and their charts are flawless. So I'm just adding a few equations that are 100% real as well. Here's, here's another one, the final one. Telling people not to get tested without symptoms is going to equal confirmed case amount uh, the confirmed cases amount is lower than the actual amount of cases. So if you tell people to uh, not get a test if they don't have a symptom, that means a lot of people have it and they're asymptomatic, which means the amount of confirmed cases is much lower than the real number of cases. And if that's true, that means that the death rate that they're giving us is much higher than it really is. That's very simple math. So if you don't allow people without uh, symptoms to get tested, and for a while they were making it hard for people with symptoms to get tested, it means that the death rate they're giving us is higher, and in reality, it's probably much lower. This is all very simple, very elementary school math that I just wanted to bring into the equation because I don't trust people that won't explain that. Yes, we're having more, but yes, we're testing more. Yes, you know, we went from not testing, so we had no cases. That doesn't mean that there were no cases. They can't even prove right now Two months ago, they couldn't even prove that it's transmitted between humans. Now they can't even prove that this hasn't been here for a couple months, a year. We don't really know because we weren't testing for it. So I'm not trying to say that the uh, virus is not terrible. I'm not trying to say that quarantining isn't a good solution. I do think eventually we need to reopen business so we don't destroy millions of lives and millions of small businesses. But at the end of the day, this is very simple math. Share it, check it out, tell a friend that they're not really explaining. And when they don't like to explain stuff like that, it makes you really question a lot of other stuff they're doing. And this goes with a lot of the settled science that they do. It's easy to make a chart like I've made. You know, you take two things, you look at the re result of it, and you can make a bell curve, you can make an exponential curve, or you can make a straight line like that. But what they're also not telling you is all the other things that equate into it. For example, before I leave, say with uh, you know climate change. 
there's one variable that you know completely dominates everything else in the equation, which is the sun. The sun has the ability to heat up. Hopefully it doesn't. Obviously, we don't think it's going to based on our studies. But if the sun heats up by a thousand degrees, we're all done. You know, if the sun freezes out by a thousand degrees, we're all done. That's something that no matter what we do, we can't control the sun. At least we don't think we can at this moment. So that's the type of stuff that could supersede all this other science. They do their fancy charts and graphs and dig in certain ice cores and then say, we know everything, we know the whole ocean. And I think you're really seeing it on display here with the coronavirus. Yes, it's not good, yes, it's spreading rapidly, but absolutely the numbers can't not go up when you're administering tests more and more and more and when you didn't even test for it two months ago because you didn't even think that humans could transmit it. The science is not always as settled as they say. In fact, science is ever growing, ever expanding. We learn, we try things out. We uh, definitely evolve, and for many diseases on this planet, we still don't have the cure for So the science is far from settled. Hopefully we get a cure for this and others. But uh, that's my talk. Thank you guys so much for listening. God bless you guys. God bless your family. God bless America. God bless the world. I'll be back with more videos soon, and please share and tag a friend. Hopefully this will make uh, them feel better.